when we look at athletes, we spend a tremendous amount of time, energy, and money on nutrition, physical training, and all of that. But at the end of the day, that batter is only as accurate at hitting that ball as where his vision tells him that ball is. Or if you have the soccer goalie or hockey goalie having to judge where that fast moving flying object is coming into, it's their visual system that has to figure that out. And seeing clearly is only one tiny piece of that. So with sports, we want to look at and identify, are there any areas where depth perception is not working the way it needs to be, or tracking's not at super high level either? Sometimes this will come up for athletes after they've had some bumps to the head during play. Sometimes nothing like that has ever happened, and we often just want to look and see, can we take them to peak performance? Because there's no point in having an athlete working with an average visual system when they've spent all of this time and energy making everything else at peak. We work with athletes of all ages, from you know blooming young hockey players who are really just coming into their own, um, all the way up to 50, 60, 70, 80 year old athletes, whether they're looking to improve their tennis game or other areas, we can often identify pieces of their visual function that can be made better and get them results on the court. When we're looking at athletes, it's gonna come down to everything from what are they doing from a eyewear or prescription perspective. Some of their prescriptions may actually be hindering their game. Even though it helps them with clearness, it could be throwing off their depth perception. While other times we can actually look at training and therapy to teach their visual system to respond faster and be more accurate in its judgments of depth and space. People often talk about athletes who have great court vision or really good awareness, okay? Now, a big piece of that sometimes is them being able to focus on their game but still process all of the peripheral information too. So one of my favorite pieces of feedback we get when we work with our athletes, young or old, is almost always you've got coaches, spectators, parents, teammates noticing that that person can now take in way more information about the game. They're making better passing judgments and really becoming a playmaker.